Okay, so this uh, from Terminal 4C. Oh my gosh. Somebody with uh, large feet. Brooklyn Public Library. Uh, a few umbrellas. Our ID. Lose something at the airport this holiday season? Well, good news. It is possible to get it back. So come with me and I'll show you how. It's a forgetful person's paradise. This is a look at Newark Airport's TSA's Lost and Found. Just a 15 minute drive from the airport to Union, New Jersey, and you'll find every item left in a TSA bin over the past 30 days. You never, you never united with it. Like a long lost love. If you leave it in a TSA bucket, it does get found, it does get brought here, and it will be brought back to yeah. you, is what I've been told repeatedly. And we can see. And, uh, living proof. TSA delivers items daily to this office. Since November, that's amounted to more than 3,000 lost possessions, more than 200 being laptops. And this is a surface. Really helpful if they would just tape the business card on the yeah. back. We, we could contact them first. I'm doing that as soon as I go home. <laughs> There's also keys, cell phones, Samsung, iPhone, and this season, lots and lots of coats. But the more interesting item of the day, this wad of cash. Thousands and thousands of dollars just left in a TSA bin. This item just came back into our office over the last 45 minutes and there was some company identification with it, so I was able to make some phone calls and we were able to locate the passenger. Ophelia Ruiz is among the handful of workers trying to reconnect travelers with these items. Once we receive his photo, based on his description and the time that he processed through screening, we'll go back, we'll review CCTV, we'll locate him, we'll match him to his photo, and then we'll make arrangements to get this back to him. But what happens if the owners never call? Well, those items are transferred to Pennsylvania where the recent sold in Harrisburg. Now TSA tells me they don't take a profit from any of those items, but when it comes to loose change, the department makes a pretty penny. Just in 2014, uncollected loose change amounted to more than $600,000 for TSA. There are really good, good ending stories every day here, and that's the best part about this specific kind of an office. So tell me, are you missing anything from your holiday travels? I'd love to help you find it. Tweet at Diana Blast and be sure to go online to tsa.gov for more information.